Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to OnlineEnglishTeacher.com and as well as Easy Learning. Well, welcome to the channel. I am your host, Teacher Michael. Today, we're going to be talking about how to ask questions to get directions, right? This is part one of how to ask for directions and how to give directions, right? But this is video one, right? To asking the questions to the location that you want to go. So by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to know how to ask questions by asking in the WH question form, okay? So let's get into it. Let's start the class. So I have this little whiteboard as soon as I share my screen. We have this whiteboard uh, or technically blackboard to show how to ask questions using WH questions for locations, right? <clears throat> so why is it important to ask questions to get to a location, right? Say, for example, if you're visiting an English speaking country, right? And you want to get from one point to another point, this will be very useful for you to learn how to ask questions, right? To get from one point to the next point, right? You want to get to the desired destination, right? <clears throat> so what are the WH questions, right? Remember the WH questions are what, where, when, why, who, how, right? Those are the six WH questions you can ask. But do we use all of these WH questions for asking for directions? No, we do not. Typically, we use where and how, right? Where, let me highlight it, where and how. <clears throat> when asking about locations or asking for directions, right? This is because um, those two WH questions are specifically for locations, while other WH questions may be asking for details unrelated to locations, right? So the way that you're gonna ask your question should mostly be with where and how. So let's look at the examples that we have below, all right? So <clears throat> where is the blank, right? Where is the blank? In, in this case, blank would be the location, all right? So we would say where, or we would put this here, the WH is R, right? The location. Right, where is the location? <clears throat> For example, where is the bank, right? Where is the bank? Where is the supermarket, right? But what about when we talk about R, right? Is is when we talk about one location. R is when we talk about many locations, right? Let's say, Let's do another example. Let's say, where are the ATMs, right? This is plural. We're talking about uh, not specifically so much a location, but maybe uh, a, a amount of something that are, are like more than one, right? Maybe two or three or four, an amount of something like ATMs, right? that we can use, that, in, that is in a specific location, right? You can say, where are the banks, right? <clears throat> We're mentioning more than one bank, right? This is not only one, but maybe two, three, four, five, or 10, or a hundred banks, right? Where are the banks, right? We use R when we're talking about plural in this case, right? Where are the banks, right? It can be the same thing with supermarket. Where are the supermarkets? Maybe this is a location that has many supermarkets near each other, right? Or maybe it's a question that you're trying to ask in general, right? Where is, a, where is a specific location that has a lot of supermarkets or has a lot of banks or has a lot of ATMs, right? So remember the structure, 
I'm going to put this down. Where is R plus location, right? The location is a place that you're desiring to find, right? Okay. This is how R, how R is the blank from here. How far is the bank from here? This is talking about maybe distance between where you are and where you want to go, right? Maybe let's say you want to go to the bank, like the first example that we have right here. How far is the bank, right? This is a question to ask if you're trying to understand how much time it takes from you from point one to point B, how long it takes to get there, right? Maybe it takes one hour, right? Maybe two hours, or maybe it takes 10 minutes, right? But this question is asking about the time to get to the location, right? We're asking about the time to get to the location, right? From location one to location two, right? So the structure for this, as you can see, right? We have the how, I guess a how far, yeah, how far. And then we have a little verb here is, remember is R, and then the location, right? And then I guess we would say the complement from here, right? Let's choose a different color from here. How far is the supermarket from here? How far is the supermarket, right? Those are both correct. <clears throat> you don't have to say from here, you, but you're asking uh, from your point that you are in, right? From right here to the next point, you're asking how far you are from this point to this point, right? <clears throat> but the same question can be said, how far is the supermarket, right? It's the same thing to say, how far is a bank from here or how far is the bank? They're both the same, right? But it's whichever you prefer, right? So hopefully this helps, right? If you guys have any questions, remember to put them down in the chat below and I'll be answering your comments and I'll also uh, be answering your questions as well. Right. So if you have any other comments or recommendation, also leave them down below and I'll be able to help you and answer them. Remember to please like, comment and subscribe to the videos. Right. I really enjoy teaching English and I really enjoy teaching you guys. So have a good, guys, a good day and take care. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next time. Take care.